They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? He came for this, and now it's useless to him, so he wants me dead. That's it. The Anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. You. It's unanimous. You all have that much confidence in me. All of these people have their lives because of you. They will follow. That wasn't the question. I will not lie. Handing this power to anyone is troubling. But I have to believe this is meant to be. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide. Corypheus will never let me live in peace. He made that clear. He intends to be a god, to rule over us all. Corypheus must be stopped. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Corypheus wants to restore Tevinter. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tevinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. 
Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, that this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. What if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade? Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've seen no Darkspawn other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an archdemon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. When you were at Therenfall, you uncovered a plot to kill Empress Selene. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he's growing. The Envy Demon gloated about a massive force of demons. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. She's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. She can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. This is the Inquisitor.